Oh, welcome back. Best-selling author Katherine Schwarzenegger Pratt wrote her first book when she was just 19 years old. Well, now it's more than a decade later. Four books, a marriage, two kids. She's got her latest product, project out today. It is a children's book, and it is called... Good night, sister. It's based on Catherine's own relationship with her younger sister, Christina. Catherine, it's so good to see good you. Good to see you. Okay, the last time you were here in Studio 1A. I mean, yeah, it's been a it was <laughs> It was a lifetime ago, it Different. seems like. Your life has changed completely. I know. Two children. Yeah. How is life? Last time I was here, I was pregnant with Lila. Yeah. Like early pregnancy with yeah. Lila. Now I've come back to the city to release a book about sisters and brought both my girls with me, my mother and my sister. <laughs> Everybody's together. Everybody's here helping me. How's New York with everybody, with the whole I mean, plan? it's wild. It's a very different book launch experience this yeah. time around, bringing the children and having them wake up in the middle of the night. <laughs> You're like, what's Where happening? Where am I? <laughs> you know what I love about this? You actually wrote this book about sisters before your second before daughter was the, born. Yeah, yeah. Always, yeah, which is so crazy. I literally started writing this book right after Lila was born, mm -hmm. and it really came to me just because I was reading so many of the same books that Christina and I read, my sister Christina and I read when we were little, and I would have all these moments of like flashbacks to our own childhood, thinking about how we did so much together, and I wanted to do this book about sisters to celebrate the relationship Christina and I had growing up and that we're still so lucky enough to have today, and then, you know, birthed another daughter, so I have <laughs> wow. two sisters with my girls. A lot of sisters get lumped together. I have a sister who's yes. uh, older than yeah. me, too, and sometimes they compare. They're mm -hmm. like, oh, you're the funny one, you're the this one, you're the that one. <laughs> they kind of tag you with that. Yeah. Were you guys clearly different when you were growing up, and how did you establish that? I mean, I probably would ask my mom, <laughs> yeah. but we we did everything together. We're 19 months apart, so yeah. I think we definitely had a lot of the lumping together when we were growing up, and then, you know, you hit that moment where you kind of want to separate yourself from each other and do things that are different. Apparently, you're not supposed to dress your kids matching, which I already started not. doing. I know. <laughs> Learning all these things as a mother now myself. But I think that it was really just such a special relationship, which is why I wanted to write a book just to celebrate that sister bond and how amazing Christina has been in my life. Well, I love this book because it does show that sometimes the big sister is the one who cares for the <laughs> younger one. And then sometimes the script Flip. flips. Yeah. And that happens in real life all the time. All the time. Tell it us was about exactly this. Yeah. our dynamic growing up was that I'm the oldest and I leaned so much on Christina growing up to be the bold one, yeah. the confident one to do things first. And I wouldn't do so much unless she did it she first had to do it or first. with me. So this book is really just to celebrate that dynamic between us and also to celebrate the fact that even if you don't have a sister, that you can have that relationship and that bond with a best friend, a cousin, a parent, whatever that might be, but just to be able to have that at a young age is such a gift. Often as sisters grow older, sometimes they, their paths stay connected, but sometimes life is funny. Yeah. Like you have families, you have this, you, someone lives there, someone's got a job, yeah. you know, and it's hard to keep the bond. How do you guys figure out a way to keep your connection? We live five or ten minutes there from you each go. other. That'll do it. <laughs> we talk to each other all the time. I mean, the four of us kids are so close and also we have incredible parents, so we're all constantly doing things together. We're, you know, they're very involved in both my daughter's lives as well, which I think is so beautiful and amazing. And to see my sister step into this role as an aunt to my mm. two girls and also just mm. to be excited about the dynamic between my two girls as sisters mm -hmm. and to, for them to have Christina and I as they grow up and kind of learn their own roles is really exciting. How is Chris as a girl dad? Does he love? Amazing. I mean, on. full princess makeup. <laughs> Does he whole, do it all? Oh, the whole thing. I mean, he's, he's such an incredible husband and an amazing father father to both of the girls and also to my stepson and he's just the best and has definitely embraced the girl dad role as well and just loves all of it and yeah this book by the way is such a great read my girls have this book because they're always looking for something new to read and they're yeah. like is that about sisters is that about us i'm like well Aww. it is it's about all of us but it's a beautiful book it's called good night sister so written by you illustrated beautiful illustrations by lucy fleming yes. she did a fantastic she job did, and i was so particular to make sure that it had so many similarities to Christina and I growing up, and she did such a wonderful job. By the way, so. it's the sweetest book. Oh, thank Enjoy you. Enjoy your time in thank New you York. So much. Hope you get some rest. <laughs> All right. Uh, and by the way, Catherine's going to come back. She's going to join us on our fourth hour. I'm very excited about that. And again, this book is called Good Night, Sister. It's in stores right now online. It's a great read, great for kids. And you can get it at today.com slash uh, shop. Yes. All right, Craig, over to you. That's right. Hold on. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.